I think it's recording. Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. Quick little update here on the, uh, the old farmhouse. The foundation walls are poured and the benches. Um, today's a Sunday of Thanksgiving and I'm gonna do a little bit of work. So, uh, yeah, come along with me here. We're gonna basically be starting to expose the old chimney. I wanna uh, remove the old chimney so that it's not a problem in the future. The siding guys can go right across. I think it'll even it out a little more and get rid of that old crap. We're trying to make things as new as we can as we go. <laughs> Uh, I also got to pressure wash the old fieldstone foundation wall because um, we got to figure out what we want to do with the wall. So basically the basement right now, the walls are complete. So on one side I've got a uh, um, block wall and the other side's fieldstone. The fieldstone wall got caught by the excavator when he was digging and tore a bunch of stone out. Uh, it's just in rough shape overall. So what I want to do is actually uh, get some shotcrete in here, clean, pressure wash the wall, clean it all up, and then shotcrete the wall right flat, just to give it a nice, uh, more appealing look. You know, you can make these field stone walls look good. Like the one side of the house there, they repointed it. It looks not bad, but this wall is, it, below grade is crumbled. It's just gone. So I think the best thing to do is just to uh, shotcrete it, trowel it, make it nice and, uh, uh, nice and flat anyways. And then, yeah, we're going to work on leveling out the floor. I got to uh, get in the crawl space of the front of the house, level out that floor so we can start putting our uh, plywood down over the old pine. And we're going to uh, be doing some new uh, vinyl flooring. So all coming up in one episode. <laughs> Stay tuned. Yeah, pressure washing an old rubble stone wall, brutal. Um, you know, it's it got so many weird surfaces, shit's flying all over you. Um, wear eye protection, I ended up, my glasses got so banged up, I couldn't even wear them anymore, so pretty much just shooting it, you know. <laughs> Trying to clear the wall off and not lose my, eyes, my sight anyways, but it's clean, I think it's ready. Uh, the contractor's building a two by six wall directly in front of that field stone, so that the, uh, floor joists can land on that and the other side will land down this uh, steel beam here. So I think the best thing to do instead of getting the shotcrete in there is just to uh, frame the wall and just hit it with a spray foam. You know that, that spray foam is really tough stuff. I know it's not waterproof or anything but I don't think I'll get a ton of water from that side anyways because it's uh, interior wall now technically. So. Um, I think that's the cheapest bet. We're gonna go with that, I think. So he's gonna frame the wall. We got all the loose stuff off pretty much. And then, yeah, like I said, when they spray, frame, spray foam the old farmhouse and the, uh, the uh, ceiling, we'll uh, get them to uh, get in there and do the wall too. So 
As you can see there, I got a couple shots of my brother-in-law came over to give me a hand, which is awesome. He's taking the old chimney down, which doesn't exist. <laughs> I thought for sure it would be uh, old clay brick all the way up, but it's empty. Someone already beat me to it. It's too bad. <laughs> so uh, there is an old pipe there. It's the exhaust for the hot water, I think. So we'll rip that out. Everything new is going to come outside. And uh, yeah, that's great. We're moving along awesome today. It's noon and just about ready for a beer. So we're going to head inside now and take a look at the floor. I'll bring the camera right down to the crawl space and kind of explain what my idea is to uh, get the floor. It doesn't have to come up much, just an, about an, three quarters of an inch. And then I got a nice flat surface to lay my uh, three quarter inch plywood so I can meet up with my my new deck so let's head inside now and we'll take a look at it all right well i wanted to uh record all this but we just got given her as per usual um what's going on here is basically one half of the floor it's kind of start it's sloping this way so what we did is we got the six by six by eight footer we caught a whole pile of uh joists going this way on that side of the house it was the lowest over there so what we got going on is a uh we use the uh, little bottle jacks there with the cribbing like that we were able to uh we started over there we jacked her up jacked her up came over here took a bit away because it's not as bad on this side and then we were able to uh jack it up and basically uh slide the posts in uh, i ja i uh just went hand tight as tight as i could and then i let the jack off and uh that was her yeah it worked out pretty good um we're still not 100 percent level upstairs i'll show you what's going on but you know, just over the years, the floorboards have really deteriorated, so we got little little humps upstairs. So next to the uh, stairwell, I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to try the self-leveling concrete out. Give that a whirl. Been hearing some good things about it. We don't need much, you know, just got to get a good straight surface for our new uh, three-quarter inch subfloor to go on, and then vinyl. So that's the plan. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. I managed to uh, get the... Hole plugged, two by four there. We're gonna be installing a three quarter inch uh, a plywood over this and trying to match it up to the uh, tongue and groove plywood there. Now I haven't been in here in a while to show you guys the update, but we've got our uh, our uh, washroom framed up here. Van Core Construction and the boys came in here, got the two by six walls framed up. We're gonna have our uh, stackables there. I think toilets here, vanity, uh, nice little, nice little space there. Uh, what's going on over here? Yeah, so we got the kitchen. It's going to be wrapped around. Kitchen's going to come to about here. Uh, fridge there. Uh, stove there. Countertops. Island. And then, well, it's hard to hard to see now, but that'll all be living space out the back there. So. Yeah, that's what's going on in here. Now let's head outside and I'll show you guys the plan for the field stone. A little bit of backfilling going on here. And then, yeah, so we got the, Vancor's got the two by six wall here where these floor joists are gonna kind of attach to. And then, uh, yeah, we've decided we are gonna spray foam that old shitty field stone. The, stones now because the excavation has taken place and there's nothing on the other side they're really flimsy uh, the boys there tried to knock me out a three foot by one foot hole through the field stone so we could shoot the new ductwork through for the other side and the whole thing just about fell over so uh gonna wait wait till the uh wait till everything's off that wall basically got the floor joists in make sure everything's tied in and then we'll have to uh haul those stones out later once the deck's on so that's where we're at okay well that's where we're at with the project guys like always like comment subscribe <laughs> and we'll see you on the next one here um next time we film should have a lot of the framings going up here uh i think the framing's showing up wednesday and the framers will be here and they'll get working on the first story or the uh, ground level so, anyhow, we'll see you then. Take care.